everyone, um, Sandy Dory here, Triple Diamond, and so I am continuing on with the um, texting uh, to communicate with people. So this is a texting tip. Um, I know that sometimes you guys are stuck at work and you can't get on the phone, but you might be able to take your phone uh, to the bathroom on your lunch break and send out a quick um, couple messages. So um, here's the second tip that I have. You know. Let's say, you know, do you need parties? So try this. So keeping it simple, keep it simple, sister, keep it simple, silly, whatever you want to say. Um, but if you need parties, again, you're going to want to have a two-way conversation with them. Uh, two-way conversations are just as crucial with texting or messaging as it is if you're on the phone. And you want to have that same mindset when you're sending out these messages to people to, you know, sell your wraps, get parties, or, um, you know, get customers. So it's really simple. And... Um, Try to keep in mind that we don't want to throw up in, on anyone. You don't want to just put it all out there with them and, and, and give this really long paragraph. If you're, if you're sending text messages and your phone has to break it up into one, two, three, four, sometimes five different messages to your recipient and it's being sent and taken out of order, then you just threw up on them. Okay, so you want to keep it simple, keep it short, and get to the point, and 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 do have a two-way conversation. So you need to book a party. So I want you to try this. You're gonna say, "Hey Nicole, can you do me a favor?" And you're gonna zip it, lock it, and you're gonna wait. And you're gonna wait for them to respond. Now, will they respond right away? Maybe not. Will it take them a day? Maybe. Yeah, and that's okay. Um, and then they'll say, "Sure, Sandy, what's up?" And you're gonna say, "You know what?" What are you doing on the 25th around 6 o'clock? You're giving them a date and a time. You're taking ownership of your time. You're taking ownership of your calendar. People love to be given options. So, you know, what are you doing on the 25th at 6 o'clock? Wait. Zip it. Don't say anything else. And then, you know, they're going to come back and they're going to say nothing or I have this or I have that going on and you just suggest another date. But if they say nothing, you know, nothing that they know of why, um, just say, do you think that you could get three to four friends together? Stop. Don't say anything else. Wait for them to respond. They may say, you know what, sure, I don't see why not. What's up? Then you're going to respond back with, I'm trying to grow my new business and a girl's night in will help. They're going to say, sure, let's do it, or whatever, you know, however your friends talk to you. And then you'll respond back, great, thank you. I'm going to give you a call to give you more information. You're the best. It's that simple, you guys. You don't have to put everything out there on a text message. Oh, get four to five friends together. It's $25. We'll wrap you for 45 minutes. You're going to see progressive results in 72 hours. I'll bring on my products. Like, you're throwing up on them. You can have a continued two-way conversation with them when you call them after you get the commitment for the date. Um, it's going to take practice on, on, on keeping your, your lips or your thumbs zipped while you're waiting for them to respond back to you. But I guarantee if you keep it simple and have a two-way conversation with them, your success rate is going to go up. You're going to book more parties. You're going to sell more wraps based on the last video we just did. And the next one I'm going to talk about it's going to be about getting those product testers. So keep it simple. Um, simplicity is key. And if you can teach your distributors to do the same thing, then you're going to see your business start growing. So good luck and um, watch for video number three.